nominated Sandra uh, for this ward because since her time at St Peter's, um, I think it would be fair to say that she kind of went into the lion's den. St Peter's, for those who know it, has been operating under extreme pressure, uh, certainly for, for the last year. And the introduction of the coordinator role was to help uh, bridge some of the gaps, certainly from a patient transport perspective, with relationships, and also helping to improve discharge performance. Sandra, from day one, rolled her sleeves up, got stuck in, um, you know, very much building the relationship with the, the nurses, the sisters, the healthcare assistants, the senior managers, and even a number of the directors, and the chief executive, no less. Uh, so she has worked tirelessly, uh, not only with, say, the management side uh, from the hospital, but also with the patients as well, liaising with our, our PTS control in Dorking, always trying to get the best kind of outcome for, for the patient, and really that is a, a timely and prompt uh, discharge, to the point that even Sandra herself at times has jumped on a vehicle and said, I'll take the patient home, I'll get them home now, because obviously there's, there's going to be a delay, uh, which actually has been, been recognised by the hospital. Yeah, Sandra makes me feel immensely proud. When I think of Sandra and the work that she's done, you know, particularly at St Peter's, uh, against a backdrop of the immense pressure uh, that the hospital has been under, uh, yeah, very proud, very pleased to be associated with Sandra. And, um, yeah, just great pride, really, you know, and it also makes my job easier as well, to be honest, you know, when, when working with the hospital. So, yeah, fantastic. Well done, Sandra.